Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this thing started up. It takes about 50 seconds to uh, go through its testing, so I'm going to hold the button in for three seconds. All right. Anyway, what I'm going to use here today is the Klein Tools ET120. It's a combustible gas detector. And there have been a lot of reports lately about gas stoves in houses uh, producing toxic amounts of of different chemicals like nitrogen dioxide and formaldehyde as well as kicking off a bunch of gas. Um, and I've known that about this stove. Um, I'm going to go ahead and attach this. I've got a tripod mount on the back and I'm going to throw it up on a little tripod so you can watch the action here. But anyway, what I've got is a uh, um, a gas stove that tends to stink a lot when it's got the um, oven preheating. So I'm going to kick on the oven here in just a second. Um, and I've got the, um, the sensitivity turned to high and the uh, uh, probe over this burner, which seems to be the one that kind of stinks up. So I'm going to hit convect bake um, and I'll just go ahead and hit start. And what it's going to do is kick on a set of burners obviously in the oven um, but it seems to be a really kind of inefficient way of doing that that leaks a lot of combustibles and you can immediately start smelling it so what i wanted to do is actually attach a value to it um, you can turn off the beeping i think it adds some of the excitement here um, this will take a minute or two and then pretty soon um, in my previous test you'd start to see this rise um, and again it's set at the high sensitivity to get the uh, the um, detectables right away I can hear the stove I can start to smell it a little bit and if you want you can scrub forward in the video and what I'll do up oh, it's picking it up already it's there never mind we're already here Oh, I can really smell it now. You see that? What if we go to a lower setting? That's still, it's still picking up, even on a low sensitivity. Oof, I'm done with this. Clear that, shut it off. Uh, so anyway, um, get some fresh air in here. Maybe I'll bend this up. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty strong. Anyway, um, what I like about a lot of these testing instruments is because it's just um, fascinating to be able to study things with some instrument or with some some instrumentation because, you know, how bad is it? I can actually uh, demonstrate this now. Um, and uh, between the, dot, the dots here and high and low sensitivity, I can actually get a value, probably in parts per million, um, which then I can cross-reference to see. Um, I don't know what the gas is, um, but I did get this because I do do some of my own gas work, and I wanted to double-check it. Now, if you want a quick story, you're still hanging around. Um, when this stove was installed... Uh, I did all the work except for the gas line and the gas line we had a professional come out and do it and he did the soap stuff and I used to do that with my dad as a kid I remember that we had a little thing of kind of soapy water and a brush and anyway tested all the gas lines everything seemed fine then took off and then we discovered that the gas hadn't been turned back on when he did all the tests but he was really busy so he just kind of said well just go ahead and do what I did and it's it's probably fine so we paid him and then we had to do it ourselves to double check. Um, anyway, that's so you see why I developed kind of a DIY mentality. You know, if I'm worried about it, um, then I'll get a professional in. But otherwise, you know, some of these professionals, these so called professionals, you know, pull stunts that just make me lose, uh, lose confidence sometimes. Anyway, you can see after I shut it down, it's going back. Well, up a little, but it's going uh, going down, dissipating. Anyway, thought you might find that interesting if you got your own gas stove or you've got some other uh, uh, gas burning 
um, or gas using uh, appliance in your house, uh, maybe borrow one of these and see if that bad smell really is as bad as it looks or as bad as it smells. And with that, Doc out. <laughs>